Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I'm Tanvi Taneja with the Midday News. The headlines. Parliament expresses outrage over the gruesome gang rape and murder case in Hyderabad. MPs call for stern action against the perpetrators. Center says it is ready to amend laws to ensure justice. Asks Telangana government to speed up the probe in the case. Prime Minister Narendra Modi holds delegation level talks with the visiting Swedish King Karl the 16th Gustav to bolster cooperation. Nationwide vaccination drive launched to prevent eight diseases under mission Indradhanush 2. Heavy rains throw life out of gear in parts of Tamil Nadu. Death toll mounts to 17 in a house collapse in Coimbatore. And UN Secretary General warns that the ramifications of climate change across the globe may reach a point of no return. Says urgent action is needed. Both Houses of Parliament have expressed outrage over the gruesome gang rape and murder case of the veterinary doctor in Hyderabad and called for stringent punishment to the perpetrators. Condemning the incident, members from different political parties in the Rajya Sabha demanded stringent punishment and change in the legal and police system to check crimes against women. Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu expressed serious concern over such incidents, saying, merely making laws is not enough. He said, the Hyderabad incident is a disgrace. What is required is not a new bill. What is required is political will, administrative skill, and then change of mindset, and then go for the kill of the social evil. In that direction, we must all move in the entire country. Leader of the opposition, Gulam Nabi Azad, said, the country and society must stand against such heinous crimes. He said, there is a need to sensitize people on this. सबसे बड़ी जरूरत जो है कि जब भी ऐसा कोई दोषी पाया जाए तो पक्षपात से हटकर चाहे वो धर्म का पक्षपात हो पार्टी का पक्षपात हो उससे ऊपर उठकर सख्त से सख्त कार्रवाई करनी चाहिए और सख्त से सख्त सजा देनी चाहिए मिस जया बच्चन ऑफ द समाजवादी पार्टी डिमांडेड एक्शन अगेंस्ट द सिक्योरिटी ऑफिसर पोस्टेड इन द एरिया वेयर द हैदराबाद रेप इंसिडेंट हैपेंड शी कॉल्ड फॉर स्ट्रिंजेंट एक्शन अगेंस्ट द परपेट्रेटर्स ऑफ द ग्रूसम क्राइम these people name need to be shamed in front of the entire country people who have not done their jobs properly guys who have committed the crime definitely i think these kind of people need to be brought out in public and lynched mr shantanu sen of the tmc also demanded strict action against the culprits echoing similar views mr sanjay singh of the amadmi party said merely framing laws is not enough to curb crimes against women Mr Manoj Jha of the RJD stressed on the need to change the mindset of the people in society. Ms Vijaya Satyanathan of the AIADMK demanded to increase the number of fast track courts dealing with such incidents. Mr Amar Patnaik of the BJD also highlighted the need to change the mindset of society. Mr Naresh Gujral of the Akali Dal drew the attention of the house towards the pendency of the cases in courts and delay in justice in such matters. Mr T K Rangarajan of the CPIM urged media to create awareness on crimes against women. The Lok Sabha unanimously condemned the brutal rape and killing and burning of the veterinary doctor in Telangana. The government assured the lower house that it is ready to discuss the subject and is ready to frame stricter laws to punish the perpetrators of the crime in an expeditious manner. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh said the government is not averse to discuss the issue and is also ready to frame stricter laws to punish the culprits he said he also shares similar sentiments of the house that the accused should be punished with an exemplary punishment sare sadan ki bhavnaon ko dekhkar is prakar ki ghatna ke liye jo bhi zimmedar hai jo bhi apradhi hain unke khilaf kathortam karwai karne ke liye jo bhi pravijan karna hoga ye sarkar wo pravijan karne ko taiyar hai Talking to reporters outside Parliament, Union Minister of State for Home Affairs G Kishan Reddy said that speedy justice must be provided to the family of the Hyderabad rape victim. 
Mr. Reddy met with the officials of the state government and the victim's family members and has asked the state government to speed up the investigation. जितना जल्दी हो सकते हो उतना सजा मिले उसके लिए फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट का भी व्यवस्था किया है सेपरेट कोर्ट में इस केस का सेपरेट प्रोसिक्यूट होगा जल्दी से जल्दी सजा मिलना चाहिए इसके लिए स्टेट गवर्नमेंट पूरा तैयार कर रहे हैं सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के द्वारा जो भी हेल्प चाहिए पूरे देने को हम तैयार है The Rajya Sabha is scheduled to resume discussion on the prohibition of electronic e-cigarettes bill 2019. The bill has already been passed by the Lok Sabha. The legislation seeks to prohibit the production, trade, transport, storage and advertisement of electronic cigarettes. It is aimed at protecting people from harmful effects of e-cigarettes. We have a report. E-cigarettes are the most common form of electronic nicotine delivery systems. They vaporize a solution using a battery. This vapor is then inhaled by the user. E-cigarettes are not a safe alternative for tobacco and can cause respiratory complications. The bill has provision of punishment of one year imprisonment and a fine of one lakh rupee or both for the first time offenders. No person will be allowed to store e-cigarettes and if anyone does so, will have to face the punishment of six months or a fine of up to fifty thousand rupees or both with divakar bhupender singh air news delhi union minister for road transport and highways nitin gadkari has said that there is a marked improvement in the pace of works relating to national highways replying to a query during question hour in the rajya sabha he said the speed of works has increased from 2 kilometers a day earlier to 30 kilometers now which is a 15 fold increase To another question he replied that air pollution in Delhi will significantly reduce as the new national highways projects including those connecting the airport will check fuel emissions Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman today said at present no new tax on petrol and diesel is being considered replying to questions in the Lok Sabha she said at present there is no proposal to reduce taxes on petrol and diesel The government today said import of steel has increased during the last few years replying to questions in the Lok Sabha steel minister Dharmendra Pradhan however said domestic production has consistently increased regardless of such imports Mr Pradhan said in the current year the country is a net exporter he said to counter import of cheap steel anti dumping duties have been imposed on various grades of steel which were dumped into the country this is all india radio giving you the news for quick news updates visit our news on air app and follow us on twitter at our handle at air news alerts and you can also visit our website www.newsonair.com Prime Minister Narendra Modi held delegation level talks with King Carl the 16th Gustav of Sweden at the Hyderabad House in New Delhi today. The meeting is aimed at giving a boost to bilateral cooperation in various sectors. Several agreements are expected to be signed between the two countries. King Carl the 16th Gustav and Queen Sylvia arrived on a state visit to India this morning at the invitation of President Ramnath Kovind. They were given a ceremonial welcome at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. This is the king's third visit to India. The king will meet President Ramnath Kovind this evening. Earlier, External Affairs Minister S J Shankar called on the king and the queen after their arrival and held discussions on ways to deepen bilateral ties. Apart from the official program in Delhi, the royal couple is scheduled to visit Mumbai and Uttarakhand. Several documents on furthering bilateral engagement are likely to be signed during the 5-day visit. Our correspondent reports that India and Sweden have a bilateral trade turnover of 3.37 billion dollars and cumulative investments of about 2 and a half billion dollars. The center is launching nationwide vaccination drive to prevent eight diseases under the intensified mission Indradhanush 2 across the country today. The government's flagship scheme is aimed at immunizing children under the age of 2 years and pregnant women against eight vaccine preventable diseases. The IMI covers vaccines for diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, poliomyelitis, tuberculosis, measles, 
meningitis and hepatitis B. Vaccines for Japanese encephalitis and haemophilus influenza are also being provided in selected areas. The IMI2 aims to achieve targets of full immunization coverage in 272 districts spread over 27 states. The IMI2 will be carried out between December 2019 and March 2020. In Rajasthan, the intensified mission Indradhanush 2 campaign has been launched today. We have a report from our correspondent. Through this campaign, government aims to reach each and every child up to two years of age and all those pregnant women who have been left uncovered under the routine immunization program. 88.5% children and pregnant women have been vaccinated under routine immunization in the state and a target has been set to reach 100% under this campaign. Under first phase, 6,071 vaccination sessions will be conducted and more than 10,000 pregnant women and more than 42,000 children will be immunized. Similar reports of launching the program are also coming from various parts of the country. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Edapati Palanisamy has announced an ex-gratia of 4 lakh rupees to the family of those deceased in the house collapse due to heavy rainfall at Coimbatore early this morning. 17 people died in the house collapse due to heavy rains. He took a review meeting with senior ministers of the cabinet this morning. He has asked the district administration of the rain-affected districts to immediately release the insurance amount for the farmers whose agricultural lands are flooded. According to Met officials, heavy rainfall is predicted for the southern districts. A report from our correspondent. Heavy to very heavy rains have thrown normal life out of gear in more than 10 districts of the state. The advent of the northeast monsoon has hit the west and the southern districts heavily. Storage in the reservoirs and water bodies are increasing steadily. District administrations have been asked to take necessary actions in situations endangering lives. Revenue officials, state electric department and health department officials have been coordinating with the state disaster management authority officials to take immediate remedial measures. Joy, Yaya News, Chennai. In Jharkhand, today is the last day for withdrawal of nomination papers for the fourth phase of assembly polls scheduled for the 16th of this month. A total of 230 candidates have filed their nominations in 15 constituencies. Meanwhile, campaigning for the second and third phase has intensified. 20 constituencies will go to polls in the second phase on the 7th of this month. Polling for 17 constituencies spread over 8 districts will be held in the third phase on the 12th of this month. Star campaigners of different political parties are holding election rallies and public meetings in support of their candidates. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said that the world's efforts to stop climate change have been utterly inadequate so far. There is a danger that global warming could pass the point of no return. He was speaking before the start of an international climate conference in Madrid scheduled for today. The UN chief noted that the world has the scientific knowledge and the technical means to limit global warming, but the political will is lacking. Mr. Guterres said he hoped the meeting in Madrid would see governments make more ambitious pledges ahead of a deadline to do so next year. Delegates from almost 200 countries will try to put finishing touches on the rules governing the 2015 Paris Climate Accord at the two-week meeting. And now, before we end the bulletin, here are the headlines once again. Parliament expresses outrage over the gruesome gang rape and murder case in Hyderabad. MPs call for stern action against the perpetrators. Centre says it is ready to amend laws to ensure justice asks Telangana government to speed up the probe in the case. Prime Minister Narendra Modi holds delegation-level talks with the visiting Swedish King Carl XVI Gustav to bolster cooperation. Nationwide vaccination drive launched to prevent eight diseases under Mission Indradhanush 2. Heavy rains throw life out of gear in parts of Tamil Nadu. Death toll mounts to 17 in a house collapse in Coimbatore. And UN Secretary General warns that the ramifications of climate change across the globe may reach a point of no return, says urgent action is needed. And with that, we end the midday news.